the, just the vibrations they play out on some of these songs, I feel like on a cellular level, are actually healing people. And that is really important, is, is using music to heal. And that's why I'm walking around with this. Yeah, nothing looks cool, dude. It's like an old African cow high drum. Can you play it? Yeah, a little bit. Before we dive into this, I need to make it crystal clear that the creators of this documentary do not support unsafe substance use. This video has been made strictly to document what goes on at EDM festivals and the kinds of experiences that people have, so if you, an innocent viewer who would never even consider partaking any compound use, consider going to one of these festivals, you know exactly what to expect. Again, this has been created strictly for documentary film purposes. And I hope you guys all enjoy. The views shown here do not reflect those of the channel creators. Cheers. Okay, so so the first time I took it, I had a really crazy experience. I was like, I was feeling like experiencing like infinity and like my brain could like, comprehend it. And last night, I didn't take any psychedelics. I took uh, a little bit of M and then some ketamine. And then I started to feel like I was tripping on acid at that time the exact same feeling but I remember thinking like somebody created Shambhala so that people could have that experience that I had last night and that this is just the best place in the world I just did a womb ceremony what so I'm revived connected my womb with the other ladies in the tent that is amazing was the womb ceremony effective oh yeah I can't relate to this I don't have a womb but I know I'm sorry you're probably your uh, gonads my gonads do something you know we did acid yesterday, it was honestly <laughs> awesome. Like 15, uh, yeah, of, us 15 of us yeah, all forward. together at the same time. So we went it to the was. It really oh, was. Oh, it was. And like, my boyfriend, he loves opio, okay? Do you know who opio is? His favorite artist who was performing oh, last artist. night. Yeah. He's like, you're singing a drug to me. No, he's <laughs> an artist, he was playing Fractal yesterday, and he's been like, since 2018, when he saw him first, he's like, I need to get my hat signed by him. So he was just like, kind of standing there, and he had this feeling. He was high on acid, three tabs of acid. Oh, big like, dose. Yeah, he's like, I gotta go now. And then he like, walked over there, and then our buddy, who just coincident timing, and he's like, knows like people there. He's like, can you do me a favor? He's like, yeah, let's go. Goes up there, somehow all of our crew, we all got to go up there and witness it. And then he just went up to Oscar, it's the, the, the DJ's name. He's like, hey man, he's like, can, can you sign my hat? And he's like, man, you have the silver Sharpie and everything. And like, it was magic. You, um, are you doing any drugs this Sham? Uh, no, I'm completely sober. No, yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much everything. I did 2CB for the first time last night. It was good. I think I didn't, didn't do enough because I didn't see any visuals. So 2CB is one of those drugs where it changes dramatically based on the dose. Like 10 milligrams is very different than say 20 or 30. Yeah. You usually need to hit like 20 to 30 to start getting visuals. 10 is, is like you said, it's like a little more social uplifting. Okay, yeah. You did, you got this one tested at the tent? Yeah, yeah. Oh, did any of your friends do MDMA? No, we bought some, but we've, since we discovered 2CB, we might just do 2CB instead. Cause it's kind of like Molly, but better we think. We've all done yeah. Molly a lot and we're like a- feeling. I feel like once you know it, it's just not as good anymore. Yeah, and- I'm not hating on Molly, it's just the come down is so bad. I only did a bit, so I'm fine. <laughs> what do you mean a bit, like you dipped your finger in it? Kind yeah. A bit? I see. Micro Molly. I just don't like to do a lot of Molly because it's like hard on your serotonin. No, no, I feel you. In my bag with my MDMA, I have a bag of supplements that are by the hour that you take. So like... By the hour? Like, I'm actually pretty proud of this. So like this is going to be... This is unlabeled. This is an hour before. Okay. Then you look for the, the zero. This is. Oh, you, you have them labeled. The zero. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And then it goes all the way down to five hours after. You put this together yourself? Yeah, nice. it's just like it's. I've seen uh, them for sale, like pre-made. Yeah, like roll kits is basically what it is, and I think if I can shout out rollsafe.org, yeah, of course. Can read about it because MDMA is just needs to be cherished and I think respected a little more than. I some agree. Do. I agree, and the disrespect really bites you in the ass. I've, I've disrespected I, that's it. What I'm trying to. That's the message I think that gets lost. You can lose the magic. Lose I lost the magic. It doesn't do much for me now. It's just like I feel a little uplifted. Do you think these help with keeping the magic? That and you know, doing it responsibly? Yeah, so like the kind of rule of thumb that I've learned, the two factors that like are make it most likely that you'll lose the magic is time between trips, I suppose. So they recommend three months between trips and then m no more than two doses in a night. But yeah, that's the, if there's a rule of thumb, that's it. You can get I agree. detailed, but um, I'm trying my best not to lose the magic because it's done a lot for me.
And do you guys know what's done a lot for me? It's this video's sponsor, Surfshark, and they can also do a lot for you. What they are is a VPN provider which keeps you safeguarded in today's super tracked, no one's got any privacy waters. Your internet provider can see and watch every single thing that you're doing, which is why I never use the internet without a VPN to protect me from having my data leaked. And if you sign up now and use my promo code Psyched, you are going to get a whopping 83% off and an extra three months free, which unlocks the absolute best price for a VPN presently on the market. An added bonus that I always talk to you guys about is if you're using a video streaming service like Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, you can go on, change your location, and sometimes get a whole slew of brand new videos. Anyway, follow the link in my video description, head on over to Surfshark and join today if you haven't already. An added bonus for me is the more of you who sign up, the better it helps the channel because they're more likely to sponsor new videos. So selfishly, yes, please go get protected and go sign up so we can keep getting these sponsorships because we just hired a brand new editor and he's really good. As you can see, he did this video. This is the first Shambhala video that I've had someone else edit and I think he's done a fantastic job, but he needs to get paid. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Hope you guys all enjoy. Cheers. I'm doing uh, Calvin Klein's with like cocaine and ketamine. That's what they call it? Yeah, I like to see in the K. <laughs> I mean, we've been doing some ketamine too, it's pretty yeah, sweet. Usually yeah. just do ketamine. Ketamine is the festival drug. I find everyone here loves ketamine. Well, I think it's like with the adrenaline of everything else that's going on, that kind of tranquilizer experience can almost be calming in a sense. Yeah. You can eat Ketam on it and you can go to sleep and you wake up and you don't feel hungover. And I think that like, people like it for that reason. I like it for that reason when it's like, I get overwhelmed or something, have a little bump of something like that. And I'm always shocked by it, cause it's not my, I've tried it 30 times, but I just, it's not my drug. I think it needs a PR campaign, man. Like ketamine is, needs rebranding. What do you mean? I just think it's misunderstood and it has a bad reputation. I think there's a ton of like therapeutic value in ketamine. Uh, they're using it for depression, that's one thing, but- yeah, I've looked at the treatment. They're actually getting really fucked up though in the treatment, like they're getting dosed high. So my take on it is different. The way you can introspect with ketamine is a little bit different when you are able to like dissociate from yourself. You can have hard conversations with yourself the way you can maybe with a friend because you dissociate from that ego in a way. I think you have to do it in moderate doses. You can definitely get caught in a K-hole and that's just not where you want to be. Sometimes it is. Some people like yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like terrifying it. to me, but some people yeah. like it. It can be kind of scary, especially if it's not like, if you're not in a, like if it's not planned, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you can like get in a really like good environment and like if you're, you know, like put some ambiance on, you know what I mean? And then just actually just like lay and just be a good with it. But like there's been certain parties or shows where it's like I've just taken too much and like, I just feel like I, I'm, I have no idea where I am and like I'm in this like loop. So that's when it can be scary. Um, in 2019 I was at the Pagoda and I was trying to go to the bathroom with my legs. I'm just like, like it was. I've had the weird you can't walk thing, but not K-holing. That must be next yeah. level. Yeah, and I was like literally linked onto the, I was like, I have to go to the bathroom. I normally only do it when my really close friends are around because then in case I can't. I don't judge. I'm just trying to understand. I'm just like hug on to someone and have someone there. That's I just, the key. Link with oh, your friends and you're good to go. Um, I also really like mushrooms. Are you on shrooms now? Yeah. Oh, you guys look like you're having a good time though. What did you, uh, what dose did you take? Pretty low dose, we just took a little mushroom tea. I feel like mushrooms are like almost just like in their own square and like they just deserve their respect and they're, stuff. They're different, people yeah. sometimes confuse and think acid and mushrooms are, are alike. But it's different with the shrooms versus acid, is it different for you? So mushrooms have always been a lot more chill and like because of gut rot, they kind of weigh me down. Like I find mushrooms are more um, shadow work. They can go deeper. Yeah, in a way, they're in control. Where like acid gives you a little bit of the euphoria, and it's, it's so clean that you like you can kind of do your thing and be coherent. But like shrooms, like you kind of just gotta like let the journey happen. I actually figured out a way, an old trick from a Peruvian guy, where you chew it with honey, and you just chew it for like 15 minutes, and it absorbs in the blood mucus membrane underneath your tongue. You don't digest the psilocybin in the mushroom, and that creates a lot of like. I hate that feeling. Yeah, that. No one likes gut rot. Yeah, it, you feel so heavy. Look at this. After 15 minutes of chewing it with honey, honey's acidic and it helps break it down. So is your saliva. It's basically already digested. So once you swallow it after chewing that long, it doesn't upset your stomach. And it made two grams of shrooms feel like four or five grams. Every cell in my body just felt illuminated. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you guys. Thank you. This is really nice to talk about and uh, really nice to chat with you. Nice meeting you. Adam. Adam. Yeah, yeah, cool. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, of course, man. Um, yeah, man. Happy Shambhala, man. You as well, dude. Thank you for that. Glad I was able to share my experience with you. Thanks, you need a picture? Yeah, of course. Me too, me too. Cheers, brother. 